G'day team, how are we doing? Taking you through Friday's workout, Friday the 17th. Warm up, what we've got to go through is you're going to move through three rounds at a warm up pace. First movement you're going to do is a 100 meter jog. If we can't jog, I want you to do eight bodybuilder burpees, which is just a no press up burpee, so just eight reps of that. When you come back in from your run or once you've done your burpees, you're going to move through 10 kick sits. Key thing to remember with a kick sit. Knees stay close to the elbows. Okay, what we're going to do is twist, get the hip touch to the ground, and get back to the start position. We're too far out, very tough to do. Okay, very hard moves, uh, to make it very hard for yourself. So keep the knees close to your elbows, make it a lot, lot easier. Find each side for that. Then the last movement you've got is five pike to back extension. So, starting off in a press up position, you're going to go into that pike, you're then going to go down. Lift the chest off the ground. That's one, two, etc. We're going through five reps, three rounds to go through. So you go back to your jog, 10 kick sits, and you've got your pike to back extension. One more round, just a warm up pace. The strength piece you have is an EMOM. We're specifically going for 12 minutes. You've got three working minutes to go through. Okay, so no rest. The only rest you get with is within the minute. So you need to be onto it. Okay. First movement, or first minute, we've got 12, sorry, eight tricep extensions. There's a couple of ways we can do those. Um, so eight reps of that, and then you've got six to eight press ups. Tricep extension, we can do a tricep, uh, sorry, kick back with a dumbbell. So we're over here, move it back, kick it right up. As long as that tricep squeezing, we can also do a standing tricep extension, okay, with a dumbbell or a plate or whatever. We could even do skull crushes, okay, something where that tricep's gonna get moving. Then you're into six to eight press ups, whatever that looks like for you, chest to the ground, full extension. You can also do that on your knees, or even better, you can do it to a raised surface. I'm doing it here, chest to that raised surface, and then back up. Okay, six to eight reps of that. M minute number two is going to be a curtsy lunge. So, feet are going to start shoulder width apart. If we can do it with a weight, okay, we can hold on the goblet, front rack, however you want to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to step back. Tap the knee, stand up tall. That's one, two, etc. Okay, you're gonna move through 12 to 16 reps. To make it harder, if you've got equipment, hold a goblet no position or hold some heavy weight. If we've got no equipment, slow the movement down. Okay, time under tension is gonna make that movement a little bit harder. Third minute, what we've got is either toe reaches or line leg raises. So, toe reach is where we're on the ground, feet and toes up nice and high. Reaching for the toes, two, etc. Or we've got line leg raises where we can hold on to a weight or something to keep us still, bring the legs right up and over, tap the ground, and then repeat. Don't just dump your feet, okay? You lose all that tension in the core. Wow, smooth. Um, so make sure you just tap in the ground and then back up tall, okay? Gonna move through four rounds of that and it's gonna be on the minute. Bring those reps down if we think it's going to take too long. We need to give ourselves some rest in there because it's just moving for four rounds. Okay? Conditioning. Absolute ding dang doozy. So, what we've got three rounds, five minute blocks, 90 second rest after that five minute block. You're going to start with a 400 meter run. Once you come in from that, you're going to do through 20 handstand press ups or some sort of handstand press up variation. Okay, so if we're lucky enough to be able to do handstand press ups, we've got the capacity to do it, cool. We've got 20 reps to do, but we need to bring those reps down to maybe 15, just so we can get some good volume out, that's fine. Alternatively, we can do a pike handstand press up. That's where our feet rate on a raised surface, and we're bringing our head down to the ground and then full extension. Okay, or alternatively, we can do press ups. Okay, if we're doing press ups, I want you to go a little bit higher rep range, maybe look towards the 25 mark. However, if it's a, it's a tough movement, then make sure you keep the reps down because we don't want to be working on a run and just press ups the whole time. Okay, and you can speak to the coach about that. Max reps in the remaining time. So hopefully that takes you roughly, let's say, three minutes. Okay, and you've got two minutes left of work. So the first, um, the movement you're going to be doing, you're going to choose one of these. You've got burpee, pistols. Okay, it's quite tough. I've actually never done these before. Down to a burpee. I haven't warmed up. Oh, too bad. Cool. Cool, that's one. Then you're going to consistently move through like that. Go each side. Okay. Oh, sorry. Burpee one side, burpee the other side. And alternate between the legs. Um, or we've got burpee air squats. 
Stand up tall, squat. Okay, and consistently moving through like that. Or, or if you're lucky enough to have a barbell, we can go overhead squat, which is in the snatch position, hips back and down, moving through like so. We've got kettlebell swings we can choose from, or uh, we can do wall balls if you're lucky enough to have a wall ball. Okay, so a lot of movements to choose from. You can switch each round if you'd like to, um, or you can really make it hard and try and sit down, uh, sit with one movement throughout the three rounds. Five minutes of work, 90 second rest, three rounds. I'm puffed and sweaty, get up there.